Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anika and I am a celebrity makeup artist and beauty influencer. And today we're here to review Morphe's Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. I'm gonna be trying out these two concealers today and I'll check back in to see how they last. First up, we're gonna do shade Deep 36, which is a warm tone, okay? And it has our doe foot applicator. So I'm gonna go and first swatch this on my hand. I'm getting a really kind of creamy texture and consistency. It's really like lightweight. I barely even feel it on my skin. Ooh. And it's blending out like a dream. So my general rule, if it matches my hand, it's gonna be a good brightening concealer for me. Um, and if it's a little bit deeper than my hand, it's gonna be a good all over foundation color. Then we'll get into Deep 38, which is a neutral, more of a neutral shade. I think so far they did a great job matching my skin tone. All right, so this is where I have Deep 38. So that is a little bit deeper than my hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over the face. And again, it's blending out really smoothly. I can see that you have a little bit of time to play with it. And then once it sets, it's not budging at all. As a makeup artist, using sanitary practices when doing makeup is always top of mind. So instead of going directly on my skin with the doe foot applicator, I'm gonna put it on this palette right here. This is a pop palette, um, but any kind of flat, surf, non-porous surface will do. And that way you can clean it with alcohol and then you don't have to be worried about double dipping or contaminating the concealer. And with Sephora's Contour Highlight Brush, I'm gonna take a bit of that. Almost like Bob Ross, I'm gonna wipe off a little bit here just so I have control over the product and it's not like I have too much product to blend out. I can always add more, but it's really hard to take it away. Wow, that is a really great match. As I'm putting it on, I, can, I can't even see where I'm putting it. It's got great coverage in the undertone, which on me, warm can kind of read too yellow. This is actually really great. Oh, you can see the difference right away. I would say it's more of a buildable formula. And I'm using this stippling motion to build the coverage and swiping where I need less coverage to blend it out into my skin. I think this would be really nice too. Anywhere I kind of need more coverage around the face. And it feels almost weightless on my skin, which is really nice. The sheerer you can make the product without sacrificing coverage is always a plus for me. Great job, Morphe. The color and the texture of this concealer is really one of the best I've tried in a while. Let's get into the next shade. On my palette, I'm taking Deep 38 and I'm gonna use this as a foundation to cover any other imperfections I have on my skin. What I really like about this formula is that they've included hyaluronic acid. So as you can see, it's kind of giving a really radiant effect. And if you have an oilier skin type, you can always put a powder on top and that way it'll be longer lasting. So again, I'm getting that weightless feel and really nice coverage. And you can see, I'm just using just a little bit at a time. A little goes a long way with this. I can see myself bringing this on vacation. Between these two shades, my whole face is essentially covered. I am realizing with this product, you have to work fairly quickly because it does dry down and it stops moving once it's dry. This kind of sets itself. That means it's gonna be a long wear and it still maintains that really pretty glow. So I'm very happy with this product. So I'm gonna add a touch of my Fenty Hazelnut Powder just to kind of bump up some of the highlights. So I'm gonna go and run some errands and I'll check back in a few hours to let you guys know how it held up. All right, so I'm back after about five hours of wear and I've been outside, I've ran errands. And as you can tell, we have a little bit of shine going on. It's that cheek, I didn't put on any highlighter today. So I'm really not mad about this wear at all. It's not only a hydrating, but a long wear concealer. As a foundation, this concealer really holds up. You can see the level of coverage is still about the same as when I first applied it this morning. Mind you, I don't touch my face, but I was wearing a mask, putting one on and off, running my errands all day, and looks pretty good. I would give this concealer a five out of five, not only for the longevity of the wear, but for the amount of coverage and the kind of weightlessness feel. There is no creasing, which is unheard of because I naturally have a lot of creases going on. So go out and get you some Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer because this for me is five out of five, 10 out of 10, would highly recommend. 
And if you need help finding your shade, feel free to leave a comment down below and I can help you as best I can. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!